ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا انه من يهده الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله شهادة تنجينا من عذاب النار ويدخلنا الجنة من غير سابقة عذاب ولا عقاب واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه اشهد انه قد بلغ الرسالة وادى الامانة ونصح الامة ومحى الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى اتاه اليقين فصلاة وسلاما على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد جاءكم رسول من انفسكم عزيز عليه ما عنتم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف رحيم فإن تولوا فقل حسبي الله فقل حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم ويقول الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم عن أبي هريرة قال عندما خرج من المقابر فقال السلام عليكم دار قوم مؤمنين وإنا إن شاء الله بكم لاحقون وددت أني قد رأيت إخواننا فقالوا يا رسول الله أولسنا إخوانك قال بل أنتم أصحابي إخواني الذين يأتون من بعدي وأنا فرطهم على الحوض أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام أما بعد Oh praise to Allah Oh praise to Allah The one, the only The one who should be worshipped I bear witness that he is the creator of this universe And he is the one who should be worshipped I bear witness that Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam Is his messenger True mercy sent to us If you follow his path Inshallah will be in Jannah Amma ba'd Always Subhanallah, this time of year, we talk about the birth of the Prophet, alayhi salatu wa salam. It's almost, they say, coming in two weeks. But now, always when I come to that week, I always talk about who's the Prophet, what do you know about the Prophet, and start giving some statistics about what's the, who's the Prophet. But Subhanallah, today, the khutbah is different. I'm picking up from, does the Prophet love us, and do we love the Prophet? He loves us or not? And do we love him or not? And we'll see how does it work. First, subhanallah, in the Quran, which is a proof to all of us, talking to every one of us, not only to Sahaba, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, we sent a prophet, we sent a prophet to you. From you to you, from you to you. He is so keen that you are a mu'min. So keen to that you are a mu'min. And not only that, not only that, he shows you mercy and kindness and uswa. Take care of you. Subhanallah. What I'm going to talk about today, does the Prophet love us? Let's see. One. The Prophet came to us and showed us everything. As I said in the hadith, if you read the hadith, I said, the narrated, that when he was coming from the grave, he said, I miss my brothers. And the Sahaba was around him and said, we are your brothers. He said, no, you are my companions. You are my companions, my brothers, people will come after me. He didn't see me. People coming after me. We didn't see him. Okay, we're gonna meet our prophet. We're gonna meet you. Oh, you'll meet me in the well when you drink from his hands a cup, cup of water that will not, will not be thirsty after. Ana faratuhum al haud. I am the one who will take care of them when it comes to this well. Then he loves us in a way. Not only that, he said that I kept my wish. I kept my, every prophet did his, took his wish in this dunya. Except me, I kept it with me. So that when I see you in the hereafter, I'll give it to you. How? How can I give it to you? I'll say it later inshallah. Two, he showed us every good thing in life. Every good thing. 
He is the uswa, he is the guidance. I was giving a khatira before every youth, I can see beautiful faces here is different. Some of them are passionate, some of them are weak, some of them are strong, some of them are powerful, some of them look at money, some of them look at the passion, everyone is different. The Prophet took care of all of them. But to take care of your son or daughter, Allah created you. Your father and mother, to take care of you, specific. To take care of your needs, to take care of who are you. Because every one of us is different. That's how the parents work. He sees, the, 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 what are you doing? And he takes care of you as good as possible. But if you have a problem with your son, You'll go, if you go back to history to the Prophet, he'll, he'll deal with the son like you. A man come to the Prophet and tell him, I want to commit adultery. Come, sit, let's talk. A boy cries because of his birth died. Come, sit, and he talked to him. A man come to the Prophet, make your son strong. And so on. Every, a daughter comes to him and said, do I have the right to tell my father no? If I want to get, he want to force me to marriage? Said, yes. And he has right, you have rights. And so on. The Prophet showed us guidance. Not only that, the Prophet, number three, the Prophet told us if we made sins, how to come out of sins. We are sinners, all of us. All of us sinners. All of us do mistakes. But subhanallah, the Prophet told you how to come back. I told before, if a man came and told the Prophet, I created a big sin. He said, okay, and then let's go and pray us after us. The man came, I did a big sin. Did you pray us with us? He said, yes, okay, it's forgiven. What's the big sin? I don't know. We don't know. But this is how the Prophet was giving. It's very simple to come back. It's up to you to decide to come back. And then, the question that comes, the uh, second question, part of the khutbah. Do we love the Prophet? Do we love, we claim we love the Prophet. We claim we love the Prophet. That's why subhanAllah, I was hearing after the khutbah, I, I was here when I'm preparing it. Allah when he said, when he, he called the name of the Prophet Muhammad, we say, alayhi salamu salli ala Muhammad. We didn't say, nahnu nusalli ala Muhammad. We cannot. We cannot give him all his rights. That, but we ask Allah to make prayer on him, because we cannot. That's how, how honorable he are. Usually, especially our youth here, when he talk about Muhammad, you know this man named Muhammad? I said, what? What are you talking about? Muhammad who? Oh, the Prophet. You say, alayhi salatu wasalam. When we talk to an honorable MP, MPP or MP, you say, your honor. And after a while he will leave. You call him by his name. And Muhammad, you call him like this, talking, Muhammad, no, no, I will not permit that. Muhammad is alayhi salatu wasalam, Sayyiduna Muhammad. This is how honorable he is. He tried his best for us. Two, how do we, how do we make him happy with us? I always, I always say, take one sunnah of the Prophet and try to stay consistent with it. Fasting one day, Monday or Thursday, praying two rakah after Aisha, and stay consistent one thing until that when I meet the Prophet, I'll tell him I did this because I'm following you. One sunnah. Is it too much to ask? One thing. One thing. Subhanallah. That's how we have to do it. Now the third thing, if I ask the youth, how to play Fortnite? How about, oh, did you know that the Lakers won? Who won? Oh, LeBron James got this amount and okay, you got so much information about the Lakers. How about if I asked anyone here, do you know what do you know about the Prophet? Can you talk to me about the Prophet for two minutes? I'm an Islamic school teacher and alhamdulillah, I always say that I put $10 in front of this nomination. Two minutes of the Prophet. And by the way, I can do it today too. For the youth, come after khutbah and tell me two minutes about the Prophet. $10 a reward from me. But alhamdulillah, I've proven that I'm keeping the $10 every time. Let's see. I see some youth telling my father, let me try it. I say, okay, after the khutbah, pray ask, come to me. Inshallah, let's see. Can I give $10 or not? It's a reward. Let's see what will happen. But I'll be surprised if someone talks about the Prophet. Because really, if you go to any Islamic, any Islamic library, all the books in Islamic is about the Prophet. 
But how do you know? How many kids does he have? How many wives or mothers? What do you know about them? What do you know about what did he do with any of his companions? Who are his companions? I heard Haytham was one of them. But anyway, anyway, this is one of the things. Subhanallah. Then I told you the Prophet kept his da'wah for the hereafter. How can I use it? Learn that after the adhan, you say what? Allahumma rabba hadhi da'wah ditam wa salat aji Sayyidina Muhammad al-wasila tarfidah wa ba'athu Allahumma qa mahmud al-adhi wa'at inna ka la tukhlifu al-mi'ad raditu billahi rabban wa bil-islam dina wa muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiyu rasoola you have the opportunity to get his shafa'ah. Someone will say, you said it so quickly, uh, how can I get it? Go to Sheikh Google and write it. Now I prepare the khutbah. Now we have an abundance of information. Before in uh, the, before eras, to get, to prepare a khutbah, it takes from me days to prepare it. I have to hit the main box to get it. Now, Sheikh Google, search, do it. But you have to pick the right from the wrong. That's a problem. Because there's so much wrong there. Pick the right from the wrong. You have to know the basic of Islam, subhanAllah. This is the first part in the khutbah. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfiru alaykum fa astaghfiru ya fawza al-mustaghfirin. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفر ونستهدي ونعوذ بالله من الشر أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا أما بعد. I want to talk about now. A sahabi came to the Prophet ﷺ and told him, you know, I have an hour in the night. I do dua. Should I stay saying salatu wassalamu alayka rasulullah salatu wassalamu alayka rasulullah ya habibi ya rasulullah Should I say that? And for how long? If I say it for quarter Is it good? He said it's good But if you increase it's better How about one third? How about half? How about two thirds? How about all of it? And the Prophet said If you did all of it All of it What happened? You will be Tukfa hammuk Tukfa hammuk Nukfar dhambuk you will be forgiven and your humum, your calamities will go away. What a reward. What a reward you can get for just saying as salatu as salam ala Rasulillah. Every prayer, you do it only on Fridays. Do it every day. Every day when we see each other, salamu alaykum. Or, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Or after the adhan, like I said, say the dua. Very important. Concluding, because time is running on me, the Prophet loves you a lot. That's the good news. The Prophet loves you a lot. In a way that he will be waiting for us in the hereafter. In three places, you cannot miss him. The first place is when the scale is there. The scale is there, he will be there with you. Oh, sorry, the first one, Tatayur Suhaf. When the, our, 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 uh, our books are thrown on us, and everyone will pick it from the right on the left. May Allah make us from the people who take it from the right. Because if, Allah, take it from the right. The second, on the scale, when you're questioned. And the third, when you're passing the Sirat. This is the three places you will not miss the Prophet there, alayhi salatu wasalam. Finishing, finishing a good glad tiding for everyone. The Prophet Anas was there and, the, and he talked, was crying and he said, why are you crying Anas? Anas is the servant of the Prophet. He said, you know, I am, I am a poor servant and you are the Prophet, you'll be high. You'll be high up. Well, how can I see you? I love you, a Prophet, but I will not see you in the hereafter. And the Prophet gave him a glad tiding. He said, Al-mar'u man ahab. If you love someone, you will be resurrected with him. Do you love the Prophet? Again, it's a question. Do you love the Prophet the right way? Not the talkative way. The right way. Knowledge, information, and get some more of it. There is no ending to information. Get know the Prophet well so that when you can meet him, the Prophet was asked, how do you know us? How do you know us, O Prophet? There are billions of people. Imagine in every hundred years, seven billion are gone and seven new seven billion are coming. <laughs> How can the Prophet know us? And the Prophet said, والسلام, Have you seen the horses? What kind of horses? The horses, they have white on their, uh, on their, uh, on their foot until their thighs. Do you see them? He said, yes. And the others they don't have. He said, yes. And the Prophet said, do you know them? He said, yes. I know when they see this, it's called ghur. From the whiteness. He said, that's how I know because when you do wudu, ablution, 
you will come in the hereafter with white shining hands. Subhanallah from Atharul Wudu. How that's how Wudu will go. I have to stop because really time is running on me. Three things I'll talk quickly about. Halloween. Every year we have this issue for the youth. And everyone, she's smiling. That's good. I love the smiling part. Everyone said, I'm going for chocolate. What's the big deal about it? I kept it for the end, for every youth to hear me. I ask every father, Costco has a discount now. Go get a whole box, 120 bars, give it to him. I said, this is $10 or $15, I don't know. Give it to him. If this is the excuse, it's chocolate. But if you go outside to share the give, trick or treat, trick, what's the idea is trick the ghost for treat him well, which it's a filthy ill aqidah, which is not acceptable in Islam. Sharing it, don't you have you seen any Sikh or any any other religion? So sorry, I shouldn't choose the religion. Any religion joining us in Eid celebration? Well, today I'm coming with you to share with you Eid. Let's pray with you. No one do that. Some of even the Christians are saying it's haram. Haram to join Halloween. Haram from their religion. How about us? It's haram. Turn off the lights. And now they know if the lights are off, they don't knock on the door. Because they know. Please, don't get out. And if the chocolate is the issue, if the fa your father cannot get you chocolate, come to me. I'll give you the box. No problem. I'll bring some boxes for you to give. Trust me, I can do that. Please, then don't let them out. Two, there is Darul Quran. Make your youth join to learn about the Quran. Lastly, but not least, make dua to everyone. Anyone who's working for the sake of Allah is needed with your dua. Allahumma ahdina fi man hadayt. Allahumma ahdina fi man hadayt. Wa'afina fi man afayt. Allahumma taqabbalna wa qabbalna. Allahumma ja'alna fi suhbat nabiyika fi firdaus al-a'la ya rabbil alameen. Allahumma ja'alna fi suhbat nabiyika fi firdaus al-a'la ya rabbil alameen.